But jazz is like love. It's something we recognize when we encounter it. It's very hard to define. It's fun to hear. It's complex. It's creative. It's inspiring. It's basically a life force. Well, it's always moving forward. It isn't music of the past, it's music of today. It's music of the future. Jazz came out of the African-American community experience, and much of that is, is based on the, uh, the black church. Call and response is an active component of, of praise and worship. You know, the leader speaks, and then the audience responds. The, the person who's taking a solo makes a musical statement, someone might respond to that statement. So it becomes an actual conversation that's going on. It's a conversation. One of the hallmarks of jazz is improvisation. And so you're responding to lots of things, ideas that you have in your, in your head, things that you know, things that are coming at you in a millisecond. You really want to lose yourself in the music, and you don't know what's coming out of you. But the only thing that's coming out of you is what's inside of you. Jazz expresses core American values. Freedom, risk-taking, cultural diversity, innovation, creative collaboration, and democracy. When you see me coming, baby, raise your window up high. In a democracy, everybody gets a vote. In a good jazz band, everybody gets a voice. It's inclusive. And I think that's the, the wonderful thing about jazz, but also about this country, is that we all have the opportunity to have a voice. And to me, jazz epitomizes that. You better, you better hang your head and cry. I don't think you can go through thinking about American music without touching on jazz and realizing that at some point jazz is what created R&B, is what led to rock and roll, is what led to the songs that you can listen to in your car today. It has influenced uh, language, it has influenced fashion, it has influenced social interaction. Jazz and culture are inextricably linked. You can't tell the story of America without jazz. The jazz collection here is one of the core strengths of the museum's collections. It's really a crown jewel in the Smithsonian. The museum's jazz collections cover the whole sweep of the music's history. Sheet music, manuscripts, photographs, films, stage clothing, uh, paintings. We have awards. We have multiple Grammys. Uh, that for Ella, that for Duke. We have Duke Ellington's Presidential Medal of Freedom. We acquired Duke Ellington's archives in 1988, and we wanted to bring that music alive to make the archives sing. So the best way to do that was to have our own orchestra. Music is a live thing. It has a spirit, it has an energy. And you cannot appreciate music just by looking at a sheet of paper. It's experienced best in a live situation. So the orchestra takes the music off the page and breathes new life into it. Jazz Appreciation Month is a month every April, every year, to cast a spotlight on jazz. This music has a long arc of influence and it's been something that has been embraced all around the world. Jazz is our history but also jazz is still happening. Let's celebrate that. Let's do something with that. Jazz is such a vital part of America's cultural heritage. It's really important that the public understand it, appreciate it, and value it. Jazz is America, and America is jazz.